Hey everybody, this is Unosif here and today I'm together with Stomachfoot again! Hello! And today we're going to show you this pretty cool thing we built in a live stream on last Saturday. And yeah, so first we're going to go down this hole right here. And yeah, let's see what we have down here. And there we go, and some of you probably already guessed it, and down here we have our tunnel bore machine. And yeah, so let's turn this thing on. So as you see, this flying machine will now launch and grab some blocks out of the wall, take them into the station, and unload them. Like this. And then it will go and get some more blocks. And um. In a couple minutes there will be quite a tunnel right here and you will also have quite some blocks and on the blocks which get mined will get transported over here as you see right now and they'll all get transferred into this wither cage right here and the wither will then break them and the broken blocks will get transported down to this system right here and they will get sorted here and then they will all get dumped into these chests right here. And yeah, we're now going to show you all the mechanics behind this thing in a little bit more detail. Okay, so I'm going to try to explain um, as best as I can how this self-returning flying machine works. So basically, this observer here doesn't activate on the rising edge, which means that this one activates first, basically. So this one activates on the rising edge, and then this one activates on the falling edge. So, when this one activates, this piston will push... Well, not, no, not this piston. This one over here will push everything forwards. And then on the falling edge, this observer here, as I said, will activate, pulling everything back behind it, um, therefore constantly moving the flying machine forward. And I don't think the observers themselves need any explanation, so I'll just... Just leave that alone. Um, and how the actual self-returning bit works is that, similarly to a redstone missile, like right over here, when the blocks are moved, um, the TNT will not activate, but when there is obsidian in front of the TNT, but not in front of the observer or redstone block or whatever you're using to activate the TNT, um, then the TNT will activate. So, a similar mechanic applies here, that when I send the flying machine forward, it will slam into the obsidian, therefore moving the piston forward and causing this observer to be activated on the rising edge instead of this one. And I'll just wait for this to come back, and then I'll rebuild the, the block grabbing part, which is also something that I'll explain. So, uh, th yes, this does need to be reset to be able to work again, but um, it's very easy to reset. So now I'll explain the actual block grabbing mechanic that was used here. So, the mechanic is that this piston here is necessary because um, if you were to just grab the blocks using this part, it would exceed the push limit, so Yes, two blocks can be grabbed, and that's that's what this slime here does. Is it just grabs these two blocks, but that's all. Um, so it still fits within the push limit. Um, and the way that this works is also powered by this observer. This observer will power this piston when the flying machine is coming back, therefore pulling back these slime blocks, along with all the other blocks that will be there, so... Now I'll activate this and demonstrate that. So now the observer is activating the piston which pulls back the slime blocks. 
and again simple reset here. And in the actual tunnel bore machine, we have a piston here, which is actually attached to the flying machine, which makes it very easy to quickly reset the machine with the press of a button or with the activation of some circuit or whatever. So I'll just add a button here quickly to demonstrate. So it goes forward, switches the observer, and it grabs these blocks. And this piston is still here so that when it gets back, I can reset the thing by pressing the button and it moves the observer and the piston back. So I think I've almost completely explained everything, but just to demonstrate the fact that this also works for missiles, I don't know for sure, this might be the smallest possible missile with observers, uh, I don't really know, but um, this is basically the same thing, but with um, TNT instead. And yeah, this is not self-returning, it's just meant to be a missile. But yeah, anyway, I think I've explained enough here. So the flying machine basically has three locations where it stores blocks. First of all, we have the blocks at the front and the blocks on this side. Those get removed together. And um, then we have these blocks around here, which get removed together. And then we have the blocks down here, which get removed together. And these all basically form the drill head and that's also the shape that's getting taken out of the tunnel. Okay, so removing the bottom blocks of the flying machine is actually really easy. Because technically all I do is I take the um, down bottom one of the blocks and I pull it back. And then I use this slime block system here to push them into the uh, push them into the um, cartridge. So these front blocks are probably the hardest to, to remove because um, first of all removing them is quite easy because I can just use this slime block right here which will extend in a couple seconds right there. Then I push them down and then I have to remove this block so it doesn't stick to the slime block and then it pushes them over here and then I'll do some sorting stuff to get these all into one row. I'll show you some uh, shots later where you can see that a little bit better. So the blocks at the front are actually really really easy to remove because all I do is I use a double piston extender right here to get them like this Then I push these blocks back forward and then I use this smart piston system with this big extender to get them into one row and that's pretty much all there is to it.
So for those of you who want to take a closer look at the redstone behind it, maybe want to play a li little bit around with the machine, there will be a world download on the screen right now and down in the description. And I will also put a link to the live stream in that we built this machine down into the description. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it for today's video. So this has been Innocent and Stomach Food and we're going to see you in our next video.